Hey, Vox here. So, EA gave us all, well, if you had Legendary Tier, which most of you should have if you've been following this channel, uh, 1093 overall rookie premiere. So, basically, a free, you know, actual rookie premiere, 99 overall card, you know, a token for next year, etc., etc. Now, you see all these 93s. These things are going for, and some people are just looking to play 22 and they're not really looking for 23. They're going to be selling these off, okay? So, like, when you want to, because they're all auctionable, it's kind of crazy. Mutt rewards, 10 times, what are they, about 40K? 400,000 coins in Mutt rewards. People have been, like, pooping on Mutt rewards this year, but that's, you know, I know it's June, but that's pretty good value, okay? So, with that said, you know, nothing too crazy in them. Um, 93 overall rookie premieres. I guess I technically didn't even need to look through 93 overalls, but because they're all just 93 overall. It's it's a great idea right now to snipe them. Um, we're looking at 48 at the moment. Um, I guess go through and filter by position. They really haven't gone down that much, but as more people start to open these uh, packs, people will start to list them 42. You know what? I'll buy it 42. Why not? The thing about like, like I talked about this morning in the video, which is only like a couple hours ago now, I guess not too much into the morning um, time, is the fact that these prices generally go up over time. Now, if you guys recall that video, I also pulled a random 93 out of that pack, and I saw other people pull uh, 93 rookie premieres out of the packs too. So it's really nice that there is going to be a further supply of these 93 overalls. We'll, we'll grab one at 40. That's not a bad idea. Uh, already expired. Looks like other people are out here sniping too. Um, so while I do expect prices like to go up, may maybe they end up leveling out and not going up that much because of how much they're in other packs. Now, if these things were in the reroll, that would be like the greatest news ever, right? If EA could add these things to the reroll, it's weird. They haven't added reduxes. There's been so many different things they haven't added. It's been kind of frustrating, I think, overall um, to uh, do this uh rookie premiere but i don't know 40k a pop so each rookie premiere is 400k you got to do 15 of them so that's like you know six million coins is that right four million six million coins just do that so like six million coins to finish them all off that's that's a lot of cheddar now to be fair you get one free from solos tokens um but you also get you know free one here so it's a little bit less than that I, I still think it's going to be four to five million total to get all your sets done at least. Um, depending on what you can snipe these cards at. It, it looks like, you know, to be fair with me already getting out sniped on, on one already, it does look like there's a lot of competition around these, which makes sense. There's a lot of people log back on just for uh, rookie premieres and stuff. Um, oh, here we go. 39K uh, right there. Already expired. Yeah, so, so there are already people kind of looking through this. Maybe I should filter by offense and defense. You really got to look at the, obviously, for those people that know, you got to look at this side of uh, that. If it hits 100, then you have you've have too much filters going on. So and generally, I'm just filtering by position. I guess you go by team. Well, 36. This is nice. Um, I won the 36. That's that's cool, 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 cool. Um, so yeah, really, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing a little bit here. Obviously, I haven't done the sets yet, but you know that the, the exchange sets are capped out a little bit. So you really still need to buy 93s off the block. Got to get them out of packs. Um, maybe if you got a lot of extra coins and you don't feel like uh, doing this, 41 is kind of a little high. But we'll see all these. You know, these things might end up going up to like 60k ish. So maybe this is this is good because as the as the the wheel turns, as the as the world wonders, these things could easily go up. They could easily go down too, though. So really, it's it's you know risk. One final risk reward for the end of the year. Um, I don't know the odds of pulling 93s out of packs, but like, ooh, Kenny Pickett. I heard his 97 is broke. So if you try to do the exchange, if you buy like his like uh, actual draft card, the Kenny Pickett 97, it uh, won't won't bring you any luck because it goes into like the other set. I don't know. It's super broken. It's it's EA all over again. Um, but I just kind of wanted to do this video on the on the free mutt rewards and like things to do around it. Um, to get 40, I'll buy it at 40 good that's good that's good so just gonna sit here keep sniping i guess i can open some packs um let's open some packs see if we can go out of like a random pack maybe we'll do like a fan appreciation pack here so we got golden tickets i might actually wait till tomorrow for my fat packs for whatever limited legends in packs and are you guys still investing in limited legend i want to see how much that uh was that that andre johnson's up to from last week um wide receiver sorry i'm not streaming today so i'm just randomly talking about different things going on mud i hope that's okay with you guys 
um, that I'm just uh, getting out my you know thought process on Mutt and my random stream topics that I generally be doing there, like opening these on stream. Um, I don't know if I, I think I'll be streaming tomorrow. I might be. Uh, all right, 98s for 100k. Andre Johnson is actually down in price. It looks like a lot of people caught on to investment investing. Like I think he was like 700k over the weekend. Oh, what? Oh, what? No, nah, maybe he's around 600k. I don't remember. Um, but a lot of people are selling off their cards and investments. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Clearly a lot of people. And so when everybody invests in something, it generally goes haywire. So Andre Johnson, not doing that well, it looks like, uh, overall for investing. So investing right before Ricky Mears, not a good move, especially with like a wide receiver, which, you know, we've got so many golden ticket wide receivers that uh, isn't that big of a deal. So yeah, I'm level 12. I don't know if I'll be able to get to level 30. I might not be able to get to the 15 tokens before this year. I just don't really have the motivation to grind solos here in June, here in July. I don't know if this is going to be the last um, Mutt Rewards. I would expect us to get Mutt Rewards in July since the game goes through August this year. Um, I was expecting them to maybe move up the release date of a few of these things uh, of Madden, but like they're kind of keeping it around the same as last year. I actually like... I think Madden will stay in the August time frame now going forward. Like before before the pandemic, um, Madden had been u moving its game up and up and up and up to get like more capture more of the summertime since like nothing to do in the summer except dream about football camp. And so let's open like a clutch or something. So I think what's going to happen now, since NCA is coming back, NCA will take that uh, June, July release date window, and then I think Madden's going to stay in like the August time frame, like it used to be before they got rid of NCA, because Ed O'Bannon sued their pants off and and won, unfortunately for gamers all across the world, and we lost NCA football for a while. Uh, yeah, I I, I don't know. I, I think like yeah, get ready, get ready for Madden in August, continually go forward. I will say it was interesting. This is not something I heard before, but apparently this is some new information. Swami tweeted this out, who used to work at EA. He said, like, apparently back in, like, 05 or whatever, you know, we all blame EA for, like, uh, getting the rights of the NFL, but, like, apparently the NFL wanted to auction off its rights to only having one partner. You know how they have, like, exclusive partner with the NFL? They were just going to do that. So, like, EA had to outbid 2k right it was either gonna be 2k or ea that were gonna get the exclusive rights we weren't gonna be able to have them both going forward apparently that was nfl led because the nfl are jerks like that with uh the rights uh hopefully you know it's not like that anymore obviously it's not since uh this current commissioner is opening up the rights to 2k and whatnot um 95 okay that's not terrible Current commissioners open up the rights. Yeah, 2K. We got a bunch of different NFL products coming out here. We got like NFL and like Fortnite and stuff and fork knife and all those uh, different utensils. But I guess we'll see. I, that was actually new information to me, which is crazy. Is I follow this game, you know, quite often. I think about this game, I don't know, 10 hours a day, every day of my life. And I did not know that the NFL was the one. I thought EA approached and they're the one that bought out the rights to take away their competition in fact it was either going to be 2k or ea now we can have a debate whether 2k or ea would have been better over the last what 17 years or so for football games but you know 2k did well in basketball for a long time i know people really like their game i know people nowadays 2k i don't really like 2k right now um feel feel differently about it but I, you know, back then, Madden was better than NFL 2K5. Madden 05, probably my favorite install or installment in the entire series, was outselling it. And I think it was just a straight-up better game, even though people nowadays will say 2K was better. I didn't realize. That was that was crazy to me. That's actually, like, insane. I thought it was EA and their, their jerkness. Saying, like, hey, we'll give you this bundle of cash if you'd only give us the exclusive rights. So, I don't know. It's crazy how much, like, I, I just learned. I wish, like... I don't even know I, uh, how that information, like, why that information wasn't out there more. Why weren't there, like, news articles written about that? Maybe because, like, internal deliberations and in, in conferences or, e or maybe the NFL didn't want that to be known. Or something like they wanted to, to keep the Shields, you know, high reputation of people like, oh, yeah, the NFL isn't as greedy as they could be. I'm sorry about the microphone in the uh, shot, too, but it is what it is. You got a big old... Not necessarily veiny big old mike in the chat mike 
Does it look like a... What is that? Was that Peter Griffin line? Does it look like I'm talking to a bunch of robot penises? Doesn't really. No, no. But it would be funny if I was. All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done rambling. I just... It's just interesting, the new information that comes out. And, like, there's so much out there that I just don't know. Oh, look, we didn't do an all-pro pack. Let's do an all-pro fantasy pack. Maybe we'll get a 93 out of this. So, overall, overall my... my uh, my ch your chance of getting a 93 draft card. Wow, I need to fix my green screen. <laughs> that that big yellow, that big yellow flash came off my monitor, and turned my entire shirt, entire life. I, I went transparent. I wasn't planning on doing a a, a a a camera for this video since I didn't take a shower like this morning and I felt miserable. Uh, but I decided to turn it on because there's no reason. Whatever. You guys know I'm a mess. T-shirt time, boys. T-shirt time. All right, so no 93s out of this. Dang. Landon Dickerson. Isn't that guy that, that needs more? Isn't that the same guy that needs more cowbell? All right, that's it. That's it for the video. Free mutt rewards from EA just by having legendary status. And yes, if you've done re-rolls, if you've opened gap packs, you should have easily gotten a legendary status. Maybe on more, more than one account for some people. Um, but that's it until we meet Again, please like, subscribe, use code GUTBOX at Underdog Fantasy. It is the number one way of supporting me. If you care at all about me and this content, Underdog Fantasy, use code GUTBOX when you sign up. Thanks.